Rockstar is one of the most beloved companies in the gaming industry. It's not hard to see why. Their output is some of the most acclaimed and consistent in the history of gaming, and that's exactly why this list was so difficult to put together. Welcome to Chaos Extras, everybody. Chaos here. Today, we're going to do the impossible. We're going to rank the 10 best Rockstar games of all time. Some ground rules. For this list, I'm going to be looking over games developed by Rockstar throughout their entire career and giving you what I think are the absolute best in the order from worst to best. Now, keep in mind, even number 10 on this list is going to be very, very good. So just remember that. So be sure to give me your list in the comments. Drop a like. Make sure you're subscribed. And we start off at number 10 with Midnight Club Los Angeles. How many of you even remember the Midnight Club franchise? Racing franchise in the 2000s, a lot of people have completely forgotten about it. It's hard to think of modern rock star making a racing game, but Midnight Club, it was awesome. It really makes me wish the studio would revisit this IP entirely. Released in 2008 for the PS3, the Xbox 360, and the PSP. You heard me right. It's a racing game. Open world. Features tons of cars. Massive open world recreation of LA. And honestly, really impressive performance for a fast-paced open world game of its time. Midnight Club LA was one of the best racing games of the Xbox 360 era, and that's saying something. Trust me, many gamers today never have even heard of Midnight Club, despite the fact it was made by one of the most acclaimed studios in the industry. So if you track down a copy somehow, give it a try. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. At number nine, Manhunt. Released in 20, uh, actually 2003. Why was I going to say 2023? This thing was released 20 years ago. Developed by Rockstar North. Manhunt is a stealth game that creates a lot of controversy, violence, gore, over-the-top brutality, but it often makes people forget the game itself was actually good. You play it as a death row inmate who gets recruited to make snuff films in order to earn another shot at life, and as the story progresses, the mystery and the conspiracy start to unravel further and further into this explosive finale. The gameplay was really good. It featured deep stealth mechanics, sophisticated enemy AI. It made it super immersive and tense. The amount of violence in the game was the main thing people focused upon, but the gameplay and the story have aged well. If you can find an old PS2 copy somehow, or you have access to an emulator, give it a try. At number 8, GTA Vice City. Now, everybody has their own idea of which GTA game is the best, especially when talking about the early 2000s trilogy. GTA 3 was the first game to use an open-world 3D format. Then the formula was built upon with Vice City and San Andreas. Now, personally... I think Vice City is the most deserving of praise because it hits the perfect middle ground between experimentation of, of GTA 3 and the kitchen sink approach of San Andreas. Plus, Vice City has some of the best atmosphere in any style of Rockstar game ever made. It takes you back to the 80s in a fictionalized version of Miami, Florida. The characters, they were great. The gameplay aged well. The atmosphere, it was good. It was awesome. It's a fantastic game. I think it's easily deserving uh, to be in Rockstar's top 10. You may have ranked it higher, but keep in mind, we have some really, really big games coming ahead. At number seven, GTA 3. Now, I know, I just said Vice City was the best thing of the 2000s trilogy, but I think GTA 3 deserves a slightly higher spot because of the insane level of innovation on display. Up to this point, Grand Theft Auto was a top-down action game with this goofy tone and cartoony visuals, but with GTA 3, Rockstar brought the series into the third dimension. They laid the foundation for pretty much every open-world game to come after that. The story was solid, the gameplay was open-ended, gave the player a ton of choices in how they wanted to complete objectives, and remember when Rockstar gave you options during gameplay? Yeah, GTA 3. It was one of the most influential video games ever made. The fact that they got a game of this size up and running on the PS2 back in 2001, it's a miracle. Playing it today will come with a couple frustrations due to a, a handful of outdated mechanics, but I still love it. The fact that it's over 20 years old blows my mind. It was way ahead of its time. At number 6. GTA 5. Now, I promise we'll get away from the Grand Theft Auto franchise with the next entry, but when figuring out how I wanted to list these games, I really had to sit down and think about GTA 5 for a while. On one hand, Technical Marvel. Features a gigantic open world, countless things to do. On top of that, it has a fantastic story with interesting characters and intense cinematic action sequences. But, on the other hand, GTA 5 wasn't as innovative as some of their other games, and the story wasn't quite as emotionally powerful as other titles that we'll talk about here in a minute in the top five. So before you yell at me and tell me I'm completely wrong for putting it at six, just know, I absolutely adore the game. I think it deserves all the praise it gets. The characters, the gameplay, the map, the online component, all of it. There's a reason Rockstar has been milking this game for almost a decade, and don't be shocked if they continue to keep GTA Online up and running even after GTA 6 is announced. Now we get into the top five. Bully. Did you know this game generated a bunch of controversy because parents thought it promoted bullying? 
Now, just in case you needed more evidence that a lot of people don't actually play the games they criticize, Bully was developed by Rockstar Vancouver and released in, in 2006 to critical acclaim for the gameplay loop in the story. You played as a juvenile delinquent named Jimmy, yeah, that's my name, who gets shipped off to Bullworth Academy where he then attempts to rise through the social ranks in order to dethrone a group of bullies tormenting students. The gameplay was excellent. The narrative was great. To this day, people have been begging Rockstar to make Bully 2. According to a number of leakers, it's actually in development, set to launch within the next few years. But since this is a Rockstar game we're talking about, it'll probably get delayed until 2035. It's okay. Go play the original. At number four, Max Payne 3. Now, Max Payne wasn't created by Rockstar, but they took over the franchise in the mid-2000s, and they were in charge of the third and final entry in the trilogy. Now, coincidentally, most people consider Max Payne 3 to be the best. At least in 2012, it's a third-person cover shooter that was heavily inspired by other games from around that time, like Gears of War and Uncharted, but it had Rockstar flair. The presentation was stylish, it was unique, the story was incredibly well-written and emotional, and the gameplay is some of Rockstar's all-time best. On top of all that, it has a super underrated multiplayer, both PvP and PvE modes that were just as good, if not better, than anything else on the PS3 or 360. It's a masterpiece of a third-person shooter. It is definitely worth going back and looking at if you haven't played it. You don't really need to have the knowledge of the previous two Max Payne games to understand it and jump in, and the gameplay actually holds up. It's pretty crazy to think how diverse Rockstar's output used to be. Now, they just put out an open-world game every five to ten years. Back in the day, they were tackling a ton of different genres and setting the bar with almost every release. Now we get into the best of the best, and this was really hard. At number three, Red Dead Redemption 2. Released in 2018 after a number of delays, it's actually a prequel to the first game, but a gameplay evolution in every way. You played as a gang of outlaws in the last days of the Wild West, trying to find their way in a world and stay out of the crosshairs of authority. The story, I don't even have to tell you. Some call it Rockstar's best narrative to date. The gameplay is immersive, features a ton of light simulation elements to make you feel like you're a Wild West outlaw. Red Dead 2's open world is easily Rockstar's most impressive. Planes, countless secrets for you to uncover. The game has been criticized for having a slow pace, but it was in the West, right? That was the point. It's a Wild West. You're not supposed to be zipping from target to target like Call of Duty, and the slower pace helps contribute to that cowboy simulator vibe. I mean, simulator vibe. I mean, I think it, I think it hit. It's an immersive emotional experience. It will absolutely absorb you into the world, but I do agree it's not quite for everybody. But there's no denying how much of an achievement in a video game storytelling presentation and world building aspect it was. At number two, Red Dead Redemption. Hot take, I know. Here it is, my list. Now, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 launched in 2010. That's right, it was actually part two. After the success of games like GTA 4 and Bully, nobody expected Rockstar to come out with a Wild West adventure like this, but it, it, it stood. He played as an outlaw hired by the government to track down members of his old gang in exchange for a clean slate. Along the way... You meet tons of amazing characters. You get to explore this gorgeous recreation of the last days of the Wild West. It's an amazing game. The story's top-notch. Gameplay, it's a little bit closer to what you would expect from a game like this. Less Cowboy Simulator, more Wild West GTA. And at number one, my pick for the best Rockstar game has to be GTA 4. And I know this is a super hot take, but here it is. A lot of people wrote off GTA 4 due to it being less wacky than the previous games and a lot more streamlined, but honestly, I think it's the best. By making the gameplay a bit simpler, it allowed Rockstar to absolutely go ham with the narrative, giving us by far the best GTA story to date. Plus, the streamlined gameplay meant everything felt important and necessary to this experience. It made for a game that was never boring, but it was never bloated or overstaying its welcome. You played as Nico, a veteran trying to restart his life in Liberty City, a fictionalized version of New York, but gets slowly and tragically pulled into a life of crime. GTA 4 stories and characters are some of the best rock stars ever made. The gameplay, it's a chef's kiss. It is. Have I mentioned the insane detail to the game? The NPCs in the environment feel alive in ways that no other GTA game does. If you've never played this game because you heard it was boring or simple compared to the others, I urge you, I implore you to try. To me, this is GTA at its best, and I'm heartbroken that the plan remastered was canceled. Seeing GTA 4 with modern graphics would have been absolutely amazing. And there you have it. I ranked them. Let me know if you agree or disagree, and I'll see you guys soon.